Hey, Gemini. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's going to be an energy, okay? <laughs> so, but this is going to be an energy towards the end of November, okay? So, let's get into this. I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights. If you are new to my page, welcome. I love you guys so much. This is it's always a really fun time, you know, doing things with you all and talking about the universe and the different planets just going retrograde and driving us nuts this is always a good time to do this right so i have to get into this okay now i'm doing your career life and love you know just like i did for the month of october but i think that this month is going to be interesting we have a few things happening as always right well, this season, we are still going to be dealing with that whole full moon and Taurus energy going into the first, very, the very beginning, first week of November, right? I always feel like that energy just still be kind of like dragging along. Now, the Taurus full moon at the end of October was like kind of emotional for a lot of us, you know, because the moon is literally exalted in Taurus, okay? So everybody is in their feelings, everybody got something to say. Everybody don't know what's going on. Um, everybody is nurturing. Some of us could have been a bit rude or even negative thinking, possibly. Um, some of us could have had even been a bit stubborn. Now, for you, Gemini, I feel like this is more, you know, energy that you needed to have, really. Just because... You know, and I feel like for you, that energy, unfortunately, is going to continue. Not with the fact that you're going to be emotional, but the fact that you will be all up in your feelings, okay? Like, setting the record straight, letting things be known, putting people in their place, telling people to mind their business. Um, there may be some different mishaps going on with between friends or so-called friends anyway, right? And then... Um, so-called family members that just claim that they love you so much that they can't breathe without you, that they would die for you, like, yeah, whatever. I believe that this month is going to be all about truth for you and all about you just opening up and being yourself, you know, setting the standard, um, setting boundaries, letting things be known. Like, so if you had these few people in your world that are like, taking advantage of you or if you feel like they're always trying to manipulate their way through a situation yeah this is gonna be the time where you were like it's not happening like not today right so let's get into all of this craziness okay so first thing first i will tell you guys that it looks like health is going to be uh oh it fell down must be true so with some of you health is going to be like in the like literally on your mind okay Thinking about how to stay healthy, new ways of eating, um, new diets, alert. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that love to drink or love to smoke or whatever it is that floats your boat, right? This is going to be the time where you may want to kind of reconsider some of those bad habits. Um, or this is not you. This could be someone in your family that may need this type of attention. And so, again, that is probably where... Um, the back and forth or disagreements may come about is when you may be speaking your mind on a particular situation in regard to someone that means a lot to you. Um, yeah, you may want to just be careful how you verbalize things. Like, you can speak your mind and be careful not to um, run someone away or to hurt their feelings, okay? Now, the other thing here is that, I mean, overall, the energy is really, like, direct and simple and beautiful, if you ask me. Um... Even here, when it talks about, like, your overall energy, I see whatever situation that you were working hard towards or something that really, really, like, meant a lot to you, um, it seems like the situation is going to work out. I do see fairness here, so it does let me know, like, yes, something is definitely going to be working out in your favor. No matter what happens, the situation will definitely um, clear up by the end of October. So whatever you were worried about, whatever you were waiting for, whatever that was really stressful and you just couldn't seem to get it on your mind, or if you were missing someone, whatever it is, something is definitely about to be worked out in your favor. Um, this could be a situation be resolved, arguments or conflicts coming to an end. Um, this is definitely something that is changing, something that is shifting, okay? Now, the month of November, now that I talked about that Taurus for a energy dragging us into the month of November, right? 
Um, we're going to have this beautiful, intense, sexy, powerful new moon in Scorpio. Okay? And that intense new moon <laughs> is going to be powerful because this is where you realize what you really want. This is you taking action. Okay? Or at least starting you know, to get things together. Maybe you haven't really had the time to start up your business plan. This will be a great time to do that, okay? Um, November 7th or 6th, give or take a day, or maybe even the 8th in some calendars, right? So that week, we will have a new moon in Scorpio, and that new moon is all about mysteries, you know? Digging deeper, educating ourselves, um, gaining more knowledge, gaining more wisdom, trying things. You know, when I think of Scorpios, they they like to just try things just for the hell of it. <laughs> and like, just to say, yeah, I did that, I've been there, done that, you know? And for you, Gemini, this is, oh, I'm going to do that, but I need to stick with this because I need something that is going to work for me. I need something that is going to be powerful, something that's going to motivate me. Um, so, yeah, this is not just you just trying something new. This is me trying something new that's going to actually work for me, okay? So, that is what I love about this new moon in Scorpio for you, okay? Because this is allowing you to use everything that you've ever learned, everything that you were ever taught, okay? You are able to actually begin the process of applying what you know, okay? And so, again, if this is some type of business plan. Maybe you haven't had time to do it, okay? If you haven't had time to re-enroll yourself back in school, this would be a good time to do it. If you have not had the time to tell someone what you really think of them, this will be the perfect time, okay? So November 6th between the 8th, give or take a day, like I said, that whole new moon energy, I always try to tell people whatever they are working to manifest, you want to do it a few days before the new moon. Same thing with the full moon. Anything you want to release, work on it a few days before the full moon. Because that way, by the time that new moon comes, you are ready. You know, you're ready to just run with it. You're ready to manifest it, deliver great news, to receive that good news. And so this is just about you guys, like I said, just living in your truth, you know. Um, being willing to be receptive to the truth. Realizing that with some situations appearing in your life is not to always hurt you or to bring you down. But this is really to allow you to break free from everything that have held you back, from no more self-sabotaging, okay? This is living your truth, okay? Now, I also see spread your wings here. So it's definitely confirming what I already feel and what I see for you, Gemini. So spread your wings, my love. Do not hold back, okay? <laughs> Do not hold back right now, okay? The timing is perfect and you are ready, my love, okay? Now, some of you may be deciding to leave these people alone or maybe no longer decide to associate with these type of people. Um, this could even be just simply leaving. Maybe you're leaving uh, an environment that you just don't feel like it serves you well, right? Maybe you guys feel like, you know what, I've been living here long enough. It's time for me to go. Um, maybe someone is leaving out of your home. And again, this could be about that family member again as well. Maybe going into rehab or going into a nursing home or something of that sort. So, um, you know, to each and every one of you, this energy is going to be different. Um, this could just be simply leaving a job that no longer serves you. This could be um, just leaving old habits alone. Just really anything that needs an ending. Like I said, I feel like this is a completion period for you. But you are also, as things are completing, it's like you're also embarking on some type of new journey. And the thing is, by the time December gets here, that is going to be the moment. When you can say, da da, surprise, you know, like, um, <laughs> so use this energy here in the month of November to get everything together, to gather your coins, to gather your knowledge, you know, to be receptive to the truth, to realize your truth, to break away from anything that holds you back. In the month of December, you will be ready. You will have your business plan. You will be ready to go back to school. You will have the books. You will have money saved up for your tuition. Like, you will be ready to just move forward, you know? And so, whatever it is that has been troubling you, dear love, just know the universe got you, my love. But this is definitely not the season to make any rash 
decisions. But if you really wholeheartedly feel like this is just not working, then of course, fuck. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Speaking true. <laughs> so if you really feel like it is not for you, my love, really, really take the time to separate your energy, okay? Now, I want to move forward because I do see some other great energy here that I want to talk about. So divine passion, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So again, we are speaking about living in your truth, speaking your heart, you know, saying what is really bothering you, okay? Or just simply talk about what you really want. What do you really, really, truly desire? See, the thing I find most interesting about most of us, really about all of us, really, because we all do it at one point or another, is when people don't really understand Faith, okay, for some of you, it's faith, and then for some of us, it's the law of attraction or whatever. Like, when we don't pay attention to the law of attraction, trust me, it is very, very real. You understand? And the energy that we put out there is going to be reflected right back at us. So we're constantly worried, and we're constantly complaining. We're constantly saying that we're depressed. We're having a bad day. We're not feeling like ourselves today. You know, all of that energy is going to bounce right back to you. Because that is the energy that the universe is receiving from you. It's the vibration, my love. And the more you send that out, the more it's going to come right back to you. And you don't want that. So this is a time where you want to just be honest with yourself. I am wonderful. I am talented. I am, you know, I don't know. What's the other word? <laughs> I'm lovely, right? I'm spontaneous. I love to have fun. I love to live in my truth. I love intellectual conversations. I love to be stimulated, right? I love to learn. I give great advice. Think about who, how you are, Gemini. Just take some time and really think about what you really want. Because like I said, the universe is clearly telling you here, no more. Do not hold back, dear love. Divine passion. Follow your heart and your passion, my love. What are you extremely passionate about? Don't just do something just because it looks interesting. I mean, because like I said, that new moon in Scorpio may have you feeling like, you know what, I'm going to do it. You know, um, yeah, that new moon energy may have you feeling that way. But I want you to know that it's important that you be honest with yourself. Don't just don't just jump into something just to say, yeah, I can do that, too. Or this is great or yeah, you don't want to do that to yourself, okay? You want to, if you're going to spend money, you need to spend money on something that is going to elevate you, something that is going to help you grow, that's going to, you know, give you some type of revenue, some type of, you know, you want to have, you want to be able to create that money right back to you. So if you're going to spend any money this season, okay, make sure that you read the contracts, read the dotted lines, you know, pay attention, why am I talking about contracts? Ta-da! Surprise! Mercury is going to retrograde on November 16th. So, yes. Oh, there's that number again. So, November 16th, okay, Mercury is going to go retrograde. That is the same day that Venus will go direct. Now, last month, we talked about Venus retrograde and how crazy it was going to be and intense and how we're going to be still dealing with all our emotions. Um, yeah, even though right now we're probably all feel in between, like we're in the in-between shadows of everything, right? Like some of us are feeling good, some of us are not, right? Yeah, well, Mercury retrograde, even though it can always bring craziness to our lives, this is probably going to be one of the best retrogrades, Mercury retrogrades anyway, because this is a season for us to learn. This is a season where, um, we're finding truth where we are um, finding, you know, resolutions to a conflict or where we are, we may find something that was lost or something that we've been looking for for a really long time or if something that we have been waiting for, it might just pop up. You know, if it's been a letter or an email or phone call from someone, something or somebody may can also return. So Mercury retrograde, even though it drives us nuts sometimes, I mean, it has its benefits. You know what I mean? So that is probably why the universe keeps encouraging you to speak your truth, because Mercury retrograde does represent communication. So it's all about verbal communication, not just verbal, but just communication in general, verbal, physical, our body language, you know, like we're sitting there like this and we're like, yeah, you know, I love you. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Like, I wouldn't believe your ass loved me either. Okay? But if we're like, you know, honey, I do love you. I'm so sorry that, you know, I've been into myself lately. I haven't really been talking to you, you know. It's all about our delivery. You know, it's all about how we're giving that energy out. But if you're like this, you know, you're like, well, I do love you. Like, how the hell are we supposed to take you seriously? I mean, seriously. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. Like, we have to put out the energy that we want. Like, we're feeling like somebody is not giving us our best. Then we may want to take a look at what we're doing. Are we giving our best? Are we being honest about what we really want? Are we speaking our truth about our passions or what we really love? Gemini, long story short, this is the season for you to just be bold and courageous, my love, okay? Unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. Because I feel like for the past few months, you guys have been like, you know, it's like love for some of you has been like through the roof, okay? And then for some of you, it's been like womp, womp. You know, and then for some of you, it's like, well, I want to do this. I want to do that, you know, but I just can't seem to get the motivation to just do it, right? This season is going to be the perfect season for you to just follow through whatever it is that you desire, okay? So this is being bold. It's all about being bold. Like I said, all of your cards clearly resonate together. It's literally all about speaking your truth and being honest this season, okay? Because like I said, I feel like a lot is coming into play. There's going to be some disagreements. But trust me, as long as you are speaking from your heart, you will not go wrong, okay? Now, let's talk, I mean, even with the whole family issues things, I mean, for some of you, even when it comes to love, I just feel like you still need to answer this question. What is your heart's true desire? Okay? I mean... And for some of you, I just heard this, right? For some of you that are like, think it's funny sleeping with other people's partners, that's not cool. Or for those of you that are on some three-way stuff where it's like, yeah, I have a girlfriend, but then I have a chick on the side type of thing. Yeah, that's not cool either. Guys, That don't do that. I feel like it's going to cause, like, no matter whatever situation you and your spouse may have been having, it's totally not worth it. If you don't want this person, speak your truth and just let them know how you are really feeling, okay? Don't play no side games, okay? Now, for some of you, and like I said, this is also very general. So, for some of you, it may and it may not apply, okay? Don't take it too deep. But I will say this. For some of you, when, when it comes to finances and career, that will also play a factor in your love life, okay, for some of you, okay? Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So even while Venus is still hanging around the first two weeks of November, yes, honey, you are very well still thinking about your finances, your place in the world, you know, your investments. What would you like to invest in? Are you making the right choices when it comes to dealing with um, your investments? You know, are we doing the right thing? Are we literally getting into something that makes sense? Are we being logical? Are we being smart with our choices? Okay? So even in love, I feel like things can work out for you. So, I mean, towards the end of November, you can expect some type of good news um, in regard to either a new position or if it's not you, it could be your spouse that is getting some type of raise or getting some type of promotion. This could just be something simple as an extra dollar fifty raise or um, maybe you guys are deciding to make some type of decisions with your finances. Uh, maybe you are starting a home business. Maybe you are um, doing something that can help you know, raise your finances, okay? And like I said, it could be both of you. Maybe you and your spouse would decide to go in business together. Whatever it is, this is going to be a really good time to focus on building your finances with your spouse. If you are single, this could either be just simply working on your finances and your career and then dealing with that relationship, or it could mean not to allow your issues or concerns about money or your career choices stop you from having the love of your life, okay? Now, for some of you, you are still dealing with some of those family issues here, okay? Um, take time to heal those family issues. If you are in a new relationship and you feel like um, you're not getting everything that you should out of this relationship, you may want to, you know, think about that long and hard, you know, because everything happens from somewhere. Nobody just wake up feeling depressed, like something happens. 
okay? So your love life benefits as you learn to forgive your parents, okay? Now, what this means, it doesn't necessarily mean that your parents did anything to you. What that could simply mean is that um, sometimes we're taught things as children, indirectly. You know, like, your mom don't tell you to just throw the dish at your man when you get married, right? Um, but this can be simply, you know, learned behavior. So a lot of times, the way we treat others is because of things that we were learned through watching our parents' behavior, okay? So the universe is asking that you release that during your full moon. Yes, Gemini, we have a full moon in your sign towards the end of November, around the 23rd or the 22nd, give or take a day. Yes, we have a full moon in your sign, and it's going to be time to celebrate, okay? It is time to release all the things that once held you back, that sobriety, you know, drinking too much, smoking too much, um, too much drama, too much negativity. Like I said, watch out for that learned behavior, my love. If your parents always was a certain way, you want to be careful not to be that same way. Be careful not to do that, my love. Do not carry that same energy, okay? You want to try to be yourself and try to dis distinguish yourself from the rest. You know, if you felt like, you know, your mom and your dad were always fighting over who did the laundry, for example, right? Why waste your marriage or your time with your spouse arguing over the same thing? This is where you learn to redirect that behavior, you know, instead of saying, well, honey, I'll do laundry on Fridays, Sundays, and Tuesdays, you can do it on Wednesdays and Sundays or whatever, you know, like, you guys can compromise and work something out, you know, um, or you can just say, you know what, well, if you take out the trash, I'll do the laundry, it's all about compromise, you don't have to do what your parents taught you indirectly, a lot of times as parents, we do that, Okay, we do that. We we do things as learned behavior and they wonder why our children turn out a certain way. It's not because we were bad parents, but a lot of things that we have done around our children can sometimes affect them. Okay, and even as adults, we can be watching our parents have issues and we think that, okay, well, because my dad walked out of my mom when she was speaking, I can do the same thing. Do not do that, dear love. If you don't practice separating yourself from that learned behavior, you're going to end up just like them, broken hearted, no money, you know, hurt, feeling betrayed. It's very possible. And I'm not saying that this is happening in all homes. What I'm saying is that we still have to be careful. No matter what the learned behavior is, we have to be careful of that. So for another example for some of you, when it comes to sobriety, right? Some of you parents may have been drinking all the time or smoking all the time. Maybe they use excessive drugs all the time, right? And maybe that's all you know, right? Maybe that's, they didn't say, hey, come hit the, you know, they didn't say that, but we were in the home, right? We were in that home. We saw that. So again, that's another example of learned behavior. We turn to, we tend to grow up, we drink, we smoke. If your parents were always the type that were always very spiritual, always making you read the Bible, always making you read the Quran, you know, or forcing religion on you, you may decide, you know what, I'm not going to do that with my children, right? And I can even say that for myself. I do the same thing. Like, I was raised in that kind of household where everything was like religious, and spiritual, and as I got older, I was like, the hell with this, I can do my spirituality the way I want to live my spirituality, right, like, and so, and I've learned that I don't want to be that type of mom, right, like, I don't want to put all this pressure on my children and force them to just live a certain way, don't eat that, don't look that way, dress like this, like, no, like, that shit is whack. <laughs> so I don't want to do that to him right or to any of my children right I don't want to do that so just to give you guys a few examples of what I mean when I say forgive our parents we have to we have to forgive our parents because sometimes they did things that they may not have even known that they were doing okay so we have to forgive them we have to find time in our heart like even if you feel like you're having disagreements with a sibling about your parents or you and your sibling might be beefing about something that your parents did or something that they said. Um, there could be issues with your parents in regard to one of your siblings or one of your close friends. Maybe you feel like your parents are always defending them, always standing up for them. Um, or maybe 
you would just simply desire a more closer relationship with your parents and they have not really been that quite supportive. Either way, you know, like I said, to each and every one of you, this energy is going to be different, okay? Now here, this is where we get to have fun because around that new moon, hey, we got Thanksgiving. This is grub time here, right? We're going to have grub time here in the States. We get to eat, stuff our face, get fat, gain extra 10 pounds, whatever, right? Who cares? <laughs> That's the perfect day, the perfect weekend. Oh, my God. And then it's Black Friday. We all get to go shopping, right? So that whole week is going to be fantastic. Like, I really, I am so so looking forward to this full moon in your sign that I'm so ready because I know for me it's gonna be brilliant okay ideas conversation being social spending money having a good weekend I just know it's gonna be fantastic even with me picking some things that I'm choosing to release oh yeah I am literally gonna be gaining new insights at the same time so I want to rub some of that energy onto you, my love, because this is going to be the perfect week to just relax. Just do nothing. Just have fun. Like, who cares? Just have fun. Just bask in that glow, okay? Just bask in your energy. Have a good week during that week. That full moon in your sun. Yeah, you may feel a bit moody like a few days before, but the day of the full moon, you get to just relax. You get to just lay down your burdens. How is how wonderful is that? You get the good news that week. You get that letter in the mail. You get that phone call you've been waiting for, right? So just relax. Even though Mercury is going to go retrograde around the 16th, if it's not, you know, if it's not life and death, my love, don't pressure yourself into signing anything, okay? Do you hear me? Do not pressure yourself into signing anything. And Mercury is going to go retrograde in your opposite sign, which is Sagittarius. So we are definitely more prone to like wanting to spend money, being impulsive, being inquisitive, being more spiritual. I mean, it's going to be really, really crazy because then, like I said, the sun is also going to be in Sagittarius. I didn't even mention it, right? So yeah, the sun is going to also be in Sagittarius. So yeah, when I say this month is going to be interesting, I'm serious. So don't be surprised if you want to just walk around and punch somebody in the face. I mean, really, really calm down and think about it, okay? <laughs> don't be so, you know, even in love, don't get too crazy. Now, I do see the honeymoon card, right? As I close out, I just want to talk about this. Because for a lot of you, it could be marriage. For a lot of you, this could be simply just going away on your honeymoon. Or if you're not married and you're just in love or maybe you're currently dating, this would be a great season to actually book a trip. Now, because Mercury is going to go retrograde, just be reasonable with your prices. Um, try to be um, smart about your decisions. Try to look for deals and sales. Um, make sure that you book your trip around a time that is convenient for everyone. Make sure you double book. Maybe sure, make sure you double check your flights. Make sure that you double check, you know, your signature, your phone calls. Make sure that the babysitter heard your message. You know, really, really, really follow through with everything. Because like I said, aside from speaking your mind, you need to be following up with some things, okay? Especially if you're thinking about traveling during the season. Other than that, I don't have anything, like, bad to say. I don't have any bad news for you. I think it's brilliant. I think you're on the way. I think that the month of December is going to be a lot brighter for you, though, okay? So I love you, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are amazing, always and forever. I love the way you guys think. You crack me up so much. So until next time, bye.